Hey there, welcome in this quick tip. So I've created this slide once and people are still asking me how did I make the red background? Actually, creating something like that in PowerPoint is very straightforward. We only have to edit some points. At the beginning, you can insert any rectangle, a very normal shape here. Let me enter it here. Let me try to position it to the top side of the slide. I'll place the shape outline to no outline and the shape fill to any color I'd prefer. Here, I did prefer this red. Now, in order to edit this little curve, basically, you only have to right click on this object and select Edit Points. Edit Points allows us to add here custom new points and those points have their bezier handles and they can be repositioned. And this is how I've done it. I placed this one here. As you can see, this is a so-called corner point. You can right click. You can select smooth, straight and corner point. The corner point is here, okay? I just need to make sure that this point in the middle is either smooth or straight. Let me make it smooth. Okay, we have something like that. And what did I create? I created something like that just to create a curve. Now you need to tinker with both Bezier handles, the left side and the right side. You can create something really fluent like that. Maybe I had the curve here a bit stronger. It's important where do you place this Bezier handle. I'll place it closer. Okay. And here on out, I can maybe add another point. This will mess up the entire design a little bit. But you know, this is PowerPoint. This just happens. I can make the corner point like this. This point like that. And messing with those two points and their Bezier handles will allow me to achieve such a result. Now the slide would be perfectly prepared. Now this, this roundness here isn't as attractive as it should be. Maybe I should adjust this a little bit. Okay, maybe making it closer. Okay, now it's a bit better shaped. Now in a few minutes, in a few mouse clicks, you get this beautiful background, which you can use any way you like. And this is also a great setup, by the way, for creating templates. Now look at that. You have a slide like that. You just shift click, you rotate this, boom, you have another slide template. And you can do this how many times you want. You can just reposition that, boom, and another really very slick design. You can turn it around and from really one shape, you can make a consistent presentation, giving you much opportunities of editing and overall design. In case you need any adjustment, just right click, edit those points, maybe make them like this, like this, like this, and you have now something really different, but the slide is perfectly intact with the previous slides. So you can stay consistent that way and create very nice design. I hope this is a very useful to you. Thank you very much for listening and I'll see you in other tutorials like that. Will I? I hope so. See you in the next ones.